Hey, we just got the numbers in for May. There are four pieces of information that we look at every month to see how the market's doing. We look at the actives supply. We look at the demand, how many properties went under contract. We look at the days on market that tells us how quickly or how much churn is happening. And the fourth one is we look at pricing. Now, when we look at the actives, it's just about where it was last month. It went up just a little bit, maybe about 5%. The pendings have gone down just a little bit. What does that mean when you look at the average days on market? It's still about three weeks worth of supply. Now, actives divided by pendings give us the absorption. That means we have about one month worth of inventory. Still a lot of churn, still pretty heavy seller's market. We are seeing now that if you look at a roller coaster, we're right at the top, top of that, of that drop where we're about to start to see the sales, the number of sales decrease as we go throughout the rest of the year. And we're gonna to start to see inventory creep up. So that average days on market should lengthen. We should start to see a little bit more supply. So now we look at where's the opportunities? Where's the opportunity? The opportunity exists in the homes that are sit, sat on the market just a little bit. Some sellers are starting to get a little antsy. They're starting to negotiate a little bit better deals. And for sellers, it's time is now. Let's get on the market. Let's get it priced correctly. And let's, let's uh, cash out at the top of the market for 2023. If you have any questions about your specific situation or your neighborhood, don't hesitate to reach out.